Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside and welcome to today's Correspondences for Work and Magic on the 27th day of July, 2021. Well, we have a, a nine energy for today. That's gonna to be endings, completion, humanitarianism, and generosity. Uh, let's see, favorability on this uh, Mars day. Mars governing magic is very good. Um, we're looking at things like passion, manifestation, creativity, self-assertion, and reducing conflict. Um, again, I, I was looking at the rune divination for today, and it really has to do with how we, uh, how we manage our, or, or determine who defines the outcome of things. In other words, who defines fate? Uh, we had Alyes, we had uh, Perthro which is the rune of fate, basically. And then we had a Othala, which is tradition and legacy. Inheritance, what we pass on to others. And are we going to let our fate be determined by people that are, are simply uh, uh, driven by their own agenda and their own need for power? Or are we going to do what's more realistic for ourselves in life? Um, and I think that, uh, it, with Perthro, what it's asking us to, to finally come to terms with, and I think it's been the last, what, four and a half years that this has been a real issue of who's going to determine, are we going to give someone who has perceived power, uh, have that individual be the sole determining factor of our fate and where we go in life. Um, Othala itself defines, I think, where we begin. You see, uh, I mean, this is basically Kenaz. It's, it's just a comprised of Kenaz in all directions. But you see up here, this diamond, you see Ingus, which is a sudden release of energy. So it'd be, it's the seed. And so it's creation energy, right? And then down below, you see the X, which is Gebo or balanced energy exchange, but the whole thing is Kenaz in all directions, so the light of spirit. So I think what Othala is trying to suggest, um, it basically defines where we begin with Ingus as the, the top part of it, and the reciprocity with which we engage with others. Uh, now, what I noticed today uh, in, uh, uh, I was watching the uh, uh, January 6th commission, the first hearing, and um, in a sense, today's rune divination involves manifestation, which is energetically governed by powerful and catalytic Mars. Um, and, and, and listening to the four members of law enforcement who were present and or harmed that day, as they protected members of Congress and others at the Capitol, it appears that the committee is going to need to hold the line that that was that was mentioned over and over and over again that phrase hold the line in a manner that many republican members refuse to do and if a witch is so inclined she or he can work a spell to reveal the truth of what happened and who was involved in the insurrection on that horrible day now listening to all of this and thinking about this when i'm doing the rune divination i'm thinking about what we did many of us did uh, after the 2016 election, uh, there was a collective binding spell, which I believe was worked monthly for, and maybe through the whole time, I don't know. Um, and uh, it, and, it, and it's, it, it's basically, the way I see this, it's almost like the insurrection on January 6th was the end of what began there. And the undoing of our country, our, the undoing of our relationships together all began with that election and culminated in the January 6th insurrection when he clearly did not win. And so the lies got told and, 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 and all of this has just been one big massive, you know, deception to keep the money flowing into him, okay? And so... I think that on this Mars day, reminiscent of what we did, uh, I didn't do this, the exact binding. I did my own thing. But, but 
and whether or not you used uh, that particular chant or not that was offered up uh, by a, a, a magician. Um, they, it just seems to me that, that we're here again. And it may take some extra energetic emphasis uh, to keep things going in a truthful manner so that truth can be revealed. And we know at the end of the hearing, the officers all express the interest that they want to know who in Congress was part of this. Did it go? And, and in other words, the, the you know, uh, Harry Dunn, Officer Dunn, uh, wants to know who the hitman was. In other words, who or not who the hitman was, but who was the one who, who hired the hitman, basically. Who, in other words, who is behind all of it? Who were the organizers? Were, they mem were members of Congress involved? Was the former administration involved? Who was involved to make this happen, right? And I think that whatever, um, in the magical community, whatever the magical community can do to help support and shore up that process, uh, that could actually start today with this Mars governing uh, all of the energy for magic today. So that's what I recommend. Um, and just, you know, it's going to be something I think that's going to be ongoing, you know, um, and, 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 and I think that depending on how you feel about it, whether or not you want to get involved in something like that is up to you. But I, I just think that we're at this critical turning point where maybe we can start to understand that, you know, the powers that be may be as corrupt as they come. And we have to reveal that. We have to know it so we can understand how the country was manipulated and how it ultimately culminated in the January 6th insurrection. So something to think about, um, you know, read over the rune divination, uh, you know, who's going to control your fate here? Is it going to be you and, and the higher self energies of, 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 of the creator, you know, who wants only the best for the creation and uh, wants us to work out these struggles so that we can be together in harmony and in love and unity? Or, you know, are we just going to let, you know, some idiot control our fate that is only concerned with raking in the money and not going to jail. So, you know, that to me, that's what it all comes down to. And this is a perfect way for witches and magicians and, and anyone in the magical community to, to come together and, and uh, express that desire for, for uh, something greater to happen here, for truth to be revealed. Um, so anyhow, that's all I have for today. And, uh, 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 you know, um, again, <laughs> this was a very emotional thing to watch. I was in tears through the whole thing. It, it really was. Uh, and I'm sure that as uh, uh, more testimony comes out, probably the angrier I'm going to get about it. So, and I'm sure others will too. So um, be gentle on yourselves, you know, and uh, uh, be good to one another and blessed be.